Happy New Year and Happy Monday, Banner Bobcats. Uh, what a great, great day today is. It's a brand new decade and hope you've all had a, a wonderful uh, break, two weeks off. And I know I had a great time too. Boy, the weather was just perfect, wasn't it? Well, we got a few announcements today, and but we're going to talk a little bit about the new year first. You know, sometimes we have a uh, something we call a one word, a word to focus in on for the year, for the new year. And my one word this year is perseverance. And I'm not sure if you know what perseverance means, but it's essentially it is not giving up easily and continuing to try harder and harder to make yourself better. And so my word this year is perseverance. Some of you might want to persevere this year in maybe getting better at something like shooting baskets. And some of you may want to get better at something like running really fast. persevere and try to climb the infinity loop. I'll try it. I'm going to show you a picture of a snail. This is going to be kind of my, my theme for this year, for, for persevering. And if you notice, if you check out how hard that snail has to work to get from one side of those rocks to the other side, and that is a very good picture of what perseverance is. On a more serious note, there are a lot of things you can persevere in. Of course, you can persevere in shooting baskets well and running faster, but you also might want to consider persevering in your reading. Maybe you want to set a reading goal this year and you want to persevere. Uh, that's that working really hard in order to meet that goal. Maybe you want to memorize your math facts. It's very, very important to learn those math facts, everybody. And that could be a, a something you persevere in if that's something you maybe struggle with. Or maybe you're going through a challenge right now. Um, maybe you want to learn to be a better friend or want to make new friends or maybe you just want to be more kind to, to people. So there's lots of things you can persevere about. I would like to challenge all of you Bobcats to come up with your one word, which basically is a word that you are trying to strive to be a better version of yourself. So think of a word that might be a, a good word that would describe you that you could kind of focus in for this entire year. Um, some of you may be talking about some resolutions too. I didn't do a resolution this year, but that may be something you have talked about with your family or with your teachers as well. So, um, hey, it's a great day to be a Bobcat, isn't it, guys? And uh, speaking of Bobcats, we've got uh, Genna, who is going to announce all of our birthdays and half birthdays. So let's cut into Genna right now. Thanks, Genna. The birthdays for this week is Sama Katam in KB, Nikhil Bauman in 4D, Abigail Arledge in 5Y, Arish Ghosh in 1A, Micah Trannell in 3TW, Sabrina Parker in 2W, Claire Marquette in 4R, Voni Shamar in KB, and our half birthdays are Jude Larson in 5Y, Ella Fear in 3W, Mrs. Lobdell, Mrs. Dom, and Mr. Ripley. All right, well done, Genna. Thank you so much for all of that, for your help with the birthdays. Um, hey, we've got a lot going on this week, actually. This Friday, some exciting things are happening. We have, uh, first of all, your report cards for the first, or excuse me, the second nine weeks will be issued this coming Friday. So you'll be able to share with mom and dad uh, how well you've done uh, in the second nine weeks. Also, cookie sales are this Friday as well. So bring that dollar in and get a, get a couple cookies. So hopefully you can enjoy that. Those cookies are awesome. I always, we always have a long line of students uh, waiting to get those cookies. So uh, that'll be this Friday. But here's something even more exciting this Friday. 
we have the PTO Family Movie Night. This is a free event. Popcorn will be provided, yes. Um, however, you'll need to bring your own drink, your own chair or something to sit on. It could be a blanket or, a, or maybe a sleeping bag, pillows, whatever you wanna bring. But it is a free event. It is this Friday night. The movie will begin promptly at 6.30. So make sure you're there just a little bit early, but not, not too early. So that'll be this coming uh, Friday. Now, what movie are we gonna watch? Well, you are the ones that are going to decide that this week. Your teacher will um, have you all vote, and here are the four choices of movies that we're gonna watch, or possibly could watch. It could be the latest How to Train Your Dragon. I haven't seen that one, I saw the first one, but I, I think this is the, the latest one. That's the first one, How to Train Your Dragon. Second movie is the latest Lion King. That one looks good too. The third one is Ralph Breaks the Internet. That looks kind of funny as well. And the last one, the fourth movie you can choose from would be Toy Story 4. And you know, I've seen the first two, I haven't seen three, but I hear the Toy Story 4 is also a good one. So those are your four choices. You will vote. You'll decide what we're watching this Friday night. What time does the movie begin? That's right, 6.30. And we'll provide, the PTO will provide popcorn. You just need to bring a drink and something to sit on. So we look forward to that this Friday. Hey, this is the time of year where maybe you've gotten through all of your, uh, your markers are getting all dried up and maybe mom and dad are, are trying to get rid of them. So don't just throw them away, bring them to school or if they're in your desk um, at school here, uh, take them to the front of the, of the building and right by the big TV, we've got a box for those markers that can be recycled. So uh, don't forget our, about our recycling program. Hey, this week also we have um, star winter assessment. And what that means is you're all gonna be taking the star again in both reading and math and uh, this week and next week. And we really, I encourage you to really do your best, make your best effort on those uh, assessments because it really shows your teachers um, and your parents how you've been learning and if you're struggling in an area, your teachers can help you and figure that out as well. But make sure you give a good effort on that, those STAR assessments. Okay, um, we do a little reminder every week on just things just to make sure that we are keeping up with our expectations. And this week is the bathrooms, the restrooms, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, I, I think I, I walk by the hallway sometimes and, and occasionally I'll see a, uh, maybe a paper towel lying on the floor feel free to pick that up. Um, even if you didn't, even if you didn't uh, drop it, you know, just to take pride in our building, feel free to pick that up. So um, just take care of the bathrooms. Uh, really shouldn't miss the paper towel into the wastebasket because that wastebasket is pretty large. You should be able to get it in there pretty well. But make sure we just take pride in our building. And that's one area, a very simple way to take care of our bathrooms is by uh, making sure all the, the paper towels are picked up. Um, hey, you know what? It is time for the joke of the week. I'm gonna do two jokes since I'm by myself and I'm not forgetting the jokes like I did that one time when I did announcements by myself. But this is it, I'm gonna try a knock knock joke. So uh, here you go. Knock knock and you say, cows go. No, cows don't go who, cows go moo. <laughs> I don't know if that worked on your end, but I hopefully it did. Um, so the last, I'll, I'll give you another uh, another joke. What kind? What animal needs to wear a wig? What animal needs to wear a wig? Hmm. The bald eagle. <laughs> I get it. He's bald. He needs a wig. Well. Banner staff and or banner students and staff and, and families. Um, I'm looking forward to a wonderful 2020. And remember, don't forget to figure out what your one word is for 2020 that you want to do to make yourself a better person. And uh, let's just have a great week. And as you guys always know, you belong here.